Shaman. What's, what's, what's going on, YouTube? Washington. This is what, 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 this week's episode of The Real Housewives of Atlanta, Season 9, Episode 2. I don't have the name of the episode up on my screen right now, but it will be in the title of this <laughs> of the video. Um, this episode... <laughs> this episode was a kiki. I was, I was actually giggling and laughing throughout this episode. It was lighthearted, and I had a lot of fun with it. Now, we're not going to talk about every single frame and scene that happened. Because, you know, we don't need to talk about everything. But we're just going to talk about the things that were funny or interesting to me. <sighs> Good Hawaii punch. So, we uh, we come back where we left off where, you know... And it's so funny how a lot of, <laughs> a lot of people, when I watched people's recaps of last week, the premiere, everybody else was thinking the same thing that I was thinking... That when Portia and Phaedra walked into the room, <laughs> uh, Sheree's reaction, <laughs> and I don't even know what that was or what she was supposed to be doing. It was just weird and awkward, but it was so funny. Like, I rewinded that so many times. Like, she was up against this, this um, painting that they trying to, they trying so hard to blur this out. For copyright or what have you, but uh, Portia Page is walking to the room. And she's just like, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, that was just funny. I watched that part back so many times. I I could just watch it forever. But anyway, so Cynthia asks, you know, Portia and Page, you know, after they greet each other and say the little fake hellos and whatnot, greetings. He's like, you know, isn't this beautiful? And <laughs> Lord, why she asked that, Jesus. She uh Frazier Portia was like, um It's um it's there. <laughs> of course, going into confession we're talking about uh I basically saying the same thing we've all been saying. There's no way I would be hosting any kind of legit housewarming without all of the my house fine tuned and all the details are here. Like I'm not gonna invite you to the house. It's still in construction, you know. So they had you know their little snipe remarks to say. So when King and Finally walks into the room and realizes that Portia is in attendance, we was thinking like, okay, how is this gonna go? Like, are they gonna do a whole do shouting match, brawling out, uh, you know, usual, or is this gonna go in a different direction? So. She asked him to pull her outside. I'm like, okay, this can either go left <laughs> or this can, you know, go right. So basically, Kenya says, you know, look, I didn't invite you and I didn't invite you because I don't know what you're going to do. And I think you're semi crazy. So can you, you know, not be here? <laughs> basically, and, and you know, Portia was just like, you know what? That's fine. I'll just escort myself out. Ladies, I'm about to bow out gracefully. I will see you guys next time. Y'all enjoy yourselves. And she just let it be what it's going to be and she left. So she said she's trying to take her uh, counseling seriously. She's trying to showcase that she's grown and um, she's not going to be that same angry person anymore. She's trying to you know, overthrow that perception of her. And I believe this was actually a pretty good step because you know 2015 and 14 Porsche that scene would have went a little bit different just saying so after Porsche and Phaedra leave Matt comes in and I'm just like oh boy so what are we going to do with this now <laughs> and so he comes and basically apologizes and says you know uh, uh, I want to be that man that's, uh, that you feel is going to be protecting of you. And she's like, well, it's going to take a while to build up that trust again and whatnot. And she said, you know, I know that it's going to be hard to find somebody else. And, you know, I, starting over with somebody else is going to be scary. Now, mind you, that's very true. And that's a lot of reason why a lot of people 
even though they've been through a lot of things with somebody that are negative, uh, <clears throat> they're more inclined to stay with that person just because they know a lot about that person. That person already knows a lot about them. And they don't want to have to try to do all that additional groundwork with a whole new person trying to get to learn them, trying to make sure, you know, they are who they say they are and have to go through that whole, you know, process all over again with a whole new person that they're just not comfortable with. So a lot of people just stay with what they know, what's familiar to them. Sometimes that's not always the best idea, but you know, I believe that's the case because, you know, Kenya went through hell or high water just to find a man to come on the show and represent her and not be paid for it. So <laughs> she's gonna hold on to me. She may be mad at him right now, but she ain't she ain't gonna too much let him just go. So apparently they're back together now and she's feeling good and whatnot. Okay, good. Now <clears throat> we uh move past we get to where Candy is uh meeting with uh Todd and his mom and his assistants, just a little their immediate company because they're trying to start this whole raising ace baby clothing line and basically candy's like the master and learn how to ex well i want to say exploit but she's the master of opportunity <laughs> she sees an opportunity to make money and she takes it and i can't be mad at her because that's why candy's able to buy two and three different houses okay um they have the little designs and whatnot, and then, you know, Mama Joyce comes in, you know, asks her to see the designs, and she tells her about the, the layout of the restaurant that they want to open up with the old lady gang and this, that, and the four. Now, mind you, that's all good and dandy, but then Mama Joyce, you know, goes on this whole tangent. She's like, well, how did, you know, the um, housewarming go? And, you know, Candy said, you know, it was good. She threw Port Portia out and this, that, and the four. And Mama Joyce goes in saying that she, that, you know, Phaedra can do, you know, Phaedra was kind of wrong for bringing Portia, you know, given the how she knows that Kenya feels about her. And, you know, you never know what Phaedra's going to do because she, she should almost be in the same cell with Apollo. I was just like, Mama Joyce, quit playing. <laughs> quit playing. Because <laughs> y'all know Phaedra has a little bit messy. Y'all know Phaedra just lives for the mess now, chat. But they were just starting to go in. Like, Candy was like, you know, I know that she's been saying some slick shit about me. She just said some stuff about Ty. And they just playing all the clips back <laughs> with all the receipts. So it's like, child. She's saying that we're cordial, but <laughs> we, you know, we ain't where we used to be, basically. Um, so, speaking of Phaedra. Oddly enough, Phaedra invites Kenya to lunch. And I'm like, this is a this is a scene I never saw coming for quite some time, if ever. So I'm like, okay, what 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 are we doing here? Because y'all know Phaedra has shaded Kenya to the infinity and beyond over the course of these what two, three, four seasons Kenya's been on? When did Kenya start? Five? Six? Five? One of the two. <laughs> um, so, yeah, and she's been shading her under the table ever since. So, she says, oh, we want to bury the hatch. We've had our differences in the past. And I'm just like, okay, <clears throat> sure, why not? So, they want to invite her to uh, this event. That apparently, they can, not, not Kenya. Portia is, run, is uh, throwing <clears throat> just in good sportsmanship. So, I'm just like... Okay, we're we're trying to be adults. I can appreciate that. Uh, and Kenya invites Cynthia and Candy out for them to get the cootie cat waxed. And as they're out there getting this this whole situation, they uh, they said that you can eat the wax. And I'm telling you, and I've said this over and over again. <clears throat> if I felt like I identified with any housewife or who I, felt, who I felt like I was the most like, it would be Candy. Because I'm not doing all that extra turn up, all that extraness. And then she said, I'm not about to eat this wax because how do I know that whatever that sugar is that's in this wax didn't come, there's not no remnants or residue of the past person's cootie cat in that and I'm about to put it in my, no, 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 no. <laughs> not at all. You can keep that. <laughs> so, 
at the end, Kenya mentions how, you know, she felt like Portia was uh, talking stuff about her and her housewarming, pointing things out. Um, and then she was saying that, oh, well, Sheree's home is not even in her name. It's in her mama's name. It's actually Chateau Thelma and this, that, and the fourth. And, you know, they was cackling back and forth about that. So I'm like, oh, okay, so that's going to be the key drama uh, <laughs> of Kenya and Sheree is that they're going to be going back and forth about this housing situation. So, on a, I guess on a, a sour note is when Cynthia and Peter meet up again and it was this whole emotional moment. And, you know, Cynthia's wondering, like, why aren't you... You know, my attorney's been reaching out to you. Why haven't you been reaching? Why haven't you been calling him back and this thing and forth? And he says, well, you've been in this space longer than I have, I guess, to sort of make, to deal with it and kind of accept it. And so I have to kind of catch up to you. And I'm like, well, okay, that makes sense, I suppose. And he said that the uh, it really hit him when he went to the hospital. He was feeling, you know, a pressure in his chest. And... Um, he realized that, you know, they asked him, because, you know, every time you go to a hospital, you know, in case something happens, you know, they want to know who to call to make decisions on your behalf or just who's your next of kin to contact and whatnot. And he realized that he couldn't, or he feels like he can't put her name there anymore because they're not going to be married. And, you know, of course, this induces tears because, you know, Cynthia, even though she's getting divorced from him, she doesn't want a divorce being like his friend. You care about him. You want to know that his well-being is going to be okay. And, you know, when you're, I guess when you're divorcing somebody, initially it feels like, okay, I have to remove you from my life completely. And that only depends on the nature of the divorce. If it's a nasty divorce or if there was some sort of deep betrayal, then yes. But if it's kind of like a mutual, you know, dissolve of the relationship where the two people still care about one another and their well-being, but they just don't want to be married anymore to interact on that level then you should still be able to be friends, especially if you raise children together. Like she said that Peter was uh, her daughter's, she knew, what, what did she say? Her daughter knew her since she was eight, basically. So, <clears throat> you know, she can't really like X him out of his, out of her life, you know, completely. Just X him out as a husband. <laughs> and the responsibilities that come with that. So I was like, okay, well, that's, you know, good. I'm glad they're able to, you know, have this moment together. And he did end up calling the attorney, agreeing to sign everything that was needed. So that was good to see. <clears throat> so uh, Portia's throwing this event, right? And Phaedra is the first person to show up. Now, this event is actually what I believe uh, Candy from a Sweet Editions TV, we were going to, I think we were going to do this for the haunted house this year, but we decided to do Netherworld instead. And so I'm glad we kind of got to see a preview of how this thing was going to run because it's supposed to be like an escape room where you have to put in clues and numbers and combinations and figure stuff out in under a, uh, a certain amount of time, which I believe is 30 minutes. And you got to uh, do it before the zombie comes in or something like that. But either way, Phaedra's the first person to show up to the event and you know, she's just going to sit and wait for everybody else to show up. Then the next person that comes is Candy. Now, you know, first, you know, just uh, not too long ago, Candy was meeting with her people and they were just shading the hell out of uh, Phaedra. So it was kind of awkward. So they was like, hey, girl, how you doing? This, that, and the fourth. And you just see them just kind of sitting there awkward, like. You know, nobody wants to really speak to each other, and it's just so painful. So painful to watch. And Sheree finally broke the silence <laughs> as she walked in. She's like, hey, and it's like, did you guys come together? They look at each other like, no. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. This is just, this is something. So the rest of the girls show up. Portia comes, Cynthia comes, Kenya comes, says she's going to grace, uh, uh, Portia's event with her presence. And I'm just like, uh, Kenya, who are you to decide that a person has changed? I mean, I guess you can decide whether or not you want to deal with somebody or not, but for you to say whether or not they've changed just indefinitely is bull. So, just girl, have a seat. Anywho. <clears throat> 
So they want to, you know, do up this room. They split each other up into teams. Now the team's going to be Sheree, Candy, and Phaedra versus Cynthia, Kenya, and Portia. And <laughs> uh, Sheree going to throw some shade, going to talk about... <laughs> um, I'm glad that I'm not in the team with Kenya because she doesn't know anything about unlocking doors, just looking more manner. I'm like, girls, you can't really say too much either because she's she may not have been she may not be very far along now, but you've had years, bitch. Okay, I, that shade can boomerang and cast on you upon you <laughs> if you you know you ain't careful. So, and Phaedra says that. Uh, <laughs> it was very big of Portia to put herself on a team with the two people that she's literally had fist to cuffs with. Because, you know, last season, uh, Cynthia didn't kick Portia in the uterus. The season before, was that the season before that? No, I think it was two seasons before that. Yeah, two seasons before that was when uh, uh, Portia dragged Kenya across the floor by her ponytail. <laughs> so it was just, it was very big of her to put herself in the team because Portia wanted to put these teams together. It was big of her to put her into the team with, you know, what you call it, uh, Cynthia and Kenya. So as they're, you know, going through these these puzzles and whatnot, it was kind of clear, like, it was uneven as far as the... Uh, <laughs> a level of um, I don't want to, for lack of a better word, just level of intelligence, <laughs> because Kenya said, as long as we're not searching for the underground railroad, we'll be fine. I fell to the floor <laughs> because <laughs> that is now that happened back before I was even really watching Housewives. Or I was just hearing about what was being, what was happening on Housewives, and when they told me that somebody thought that the Underground Railroad was like a legit train track railroad, I was like, "Oh no, I can't, I can't deal with whomever these these people are on this show." I, I no, so that was like right before I started watching. So my God. <laughs> but yeah, some I forget who it was that was in the confessional talking about it. But they said you have, you know, a lawyer, you have Sheree. I'm not sure what Sheree's qualifications are necessarily. But then and then you have Candy, who's, you know, of course, a marketing genius. <laughs> um and then you have a supermodel, Portia, who's the blonde, and then Kenya, who I just <laughs> I just don't know. <laughs> I just don't know what... Uh, mm, we're going to move forward. So basically, neither one of them got through the thing because each of them needed to have some clues and help and neither one of them figured it out. And it just seemed like, I don't know if that would be something that would be as fun as it looks just because it feels like it's too, too much work. I don't know. I try it just to see, but just from what... They got going on. I'm like, mm, mm, nah. <laughs> you know, so after they, you know, uh, after everybody else decides to split and go home for the day, Kenya pulls Sheree to the side. And this is where it goes down. So she's like, you know, basically, I heard that she has some things to say about my housewarming and this had the fourth, and <laughs> she was like, how you gonna say something about me when you're saying to her? Basically, Kenya's whole point is the fact that, Ken that Sheree's been doing this for over, like, five years, and she's still not living in the house as of t today's date. Well, the recording date. Uh, <laughs> and Sheree's whole thing is, well, girl, it, does, it really shouldn't matter how long I do it, but it's the fact that I'm doing it. And if I'm going to move in, I want to move in when it's actually finished. Whereas you're moving in where there's still construction and people need walking around with hard hats. <laughs> uh, trying to say, well, who am I and what I'm doing with my house and this, that, and the fourth. And <laughs> it was like... it. it 
Ooh, shit. Girl? <coughs> I don't even know where that came from. But that with this whole discussion, I'm... <laughs> I just don't know who... I mean, it's stupid. It's kind of foolish to me. It's like, both of y'all still have a house, though. Like, what, what matters when a person moves in... You know, there's all sorts of factors that go into that. Like, I don't see if I move in, does that make my house better? Does it make me a better person? Like, I don't know. I just feel like the whole discussion is stupid and pointless. But it was funny to watch, though. <laughs> it was funny to watch. Um, but, yeah, I think that was pretty much all from this week. <laughs> uh, I'm excited to see. Is there supposed to be a new housewife this season? I heard there was a new housewife, but... We'll see, Sha. We'll see. Whoever it is, she's not in the credits. or the, uh, She ain't holding no peach. Well, at least not yet, because they can always uh, add that in later. I don't know. But thanks again so much for watching. And uh, thanks to all um, everybody who decided to come over from um, Scotty's channel. Scotty Mr. Still Stand. He gave me a salute on his channel the other day. And it was so nice. Uh, I really, really appreciated it. And Scotty, if you're watching, much love to you, brother. Thank you for all your support. And I will see you guys tomorrow not tomorrow yes tomorrow for love for hip-hop hollywood the reunion that bullshit i'll see y'all tomorrow <laughs> bye bye like share subscribe tomorrow washington washington washington